YouTube. Um, I am just talking to you, making a quick video because I haven't made it videos in a while. But I have tons of stuff to do. My apartment is totally messy. I got stuck in the mud um, the other day when I was heading back, or I don't know, it was at a doctor's appointment. I ended up getting stuck in the mud. And then, so I have dirt like everywhere in my apartment. And then plus I haven't really finished unpacking from my weekend out of town. And so there's all that. And I have tons of laundry to do. I just took the um, pillowcases off all the pillows um, and the sheet and stuff. So anyway, I, plus like dishes, I have dishes. I didn't even clean up the food last night because I was just, I didn't feel like, <laughs> I was exhausted. That's what happened. I was exhausted. And so I just crashed. Um, but guess what happened today? Today, um, I had an interview with the editor of the Moore Oklahoman. Um, and so they were talking about my road art, which of course I rambled about everything besides road art. <laughs> like I still said a lot of stuff about the art. But, um, it wasn't, I don't know, I should have focused more. It was just so hard. I have so much I need to tell the world. So much I need to tell everyone. Listen, pay attention. I, I don't remember, though, what all my important stuff are. But, I'm, I was telling the guy, I was like, wheelchairs are mobile billboards. He asked me what the main thing I wanted people to get out there. I was like. I don't know. <laughs> like, what's my main point? Um, live every every day as best you can, because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, have fun with life. Like the whole purpose behind doing road art, find stuff, find stuff on the ground, pick it up. Like debris, you know, hubcaps, like broken, whatever, broken fenders, whatever. Just find stuff on the road, make it into art put it back on the road. That is my call out to all artists. Um, but anyway, it was super fun this morning and I'm glad I was up and about um, early. Oh, and then also I finally, finally wrote my little um, thing. I'm supposed to be you like mailing. I'm to, uh, supposed to submit a formal proposal pretty much to the guy at the DOT about um, putting some art up. And so after the meeting thing, after my interview, then I went to the library and finally wrote this little thing up. I don't know why, why I've procrastinated this long. The poor guy at the DOT He's going to be like, what are you even talking about? He's not going to remember talking to me at all. Um, it was so long ago. But, oh well. And, look, this is, okay, I printed out some pictures of my road art. And, I wrote him, like, one paragraph. I don't know why, I just can not think. I know, I'm trying to be a writer, all this stuff. Say I'm a writer. I can't even write. I barely even wrote a paragraph. This is my letter to the DOT guy. Um, and I'm going to draw a picture of what I wanted to do because I have, um, I found this thing. So uh, what I'm going to draw is just a big smile. I'll show you maybe if I remember. And then I just have a bunch of pictures of different art that I've hung all over town. Um, so anyway, um, this is all this says. It says, um, dear guy, I call myself a road artist. My wheelchair is my car and in my travels, uh, travels around town, I often find debris such as hub caverings. I recently found some debris which I would like to mount to the concrete supporting I-35 at the 5th Street underpassing more. 
The drawing below is a, repre a representation of what I'd like to do. I'm also sending pictures of some of the current of the current art around town. I'd like permission to use highway underpasses all over town as galleries for various art I make. I'm actually not sure what the best way to mount. Oh man, I put a oh I said way I to mount items to concrete is suggestions or exclusions in relation to materials used are greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time. Okay, so maybe I'll rewrite this. Maybe I'll to figure out a better sounding thing. I mean, I have waited this long after all. I should make it good, at least not have an extra I in there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have to do that, but at least I printed out some pictures. So that's cool, because I wanted to send him some of the pictures of my art. Like this, I don't know if I've shown you guys all this stuff. This is the awesome art around town. This one that's over the water. It, that, that little PVC pipe right there that's smiling at you. You know, those, one of them was like a hose clamp thing. It was probably the size of like a hula hoop. Each of those are about the size of a hula hoop, and then the smile is like, I don't know, 10 feet or whatever. It was so fun to take cross down. But anyway, this is my, like, one of my favorite. Wait a second. Is that him? Yeah. That's one of my favorite guys. I pass him all the time. Anyway. Um, yeah. But I spent all this time after, as soon as my interview was over, I just started overthinking, like, the whole time. Oh, I should have. Oh, I shouldn't have said this. What was I thinking? Like, oh, I forgot about this. All this stuff. Um, and so I'm trying to um, learn not t trying to settle myself down and just say, you know what? What's done is done. I can't go back. I can't change it. Even if I should have said more stuff or said less stuff. Like, oh, well, it's too late now. I can't change it. Um, and so, anyway, I'm going to stop this video because I still have tons of stuff to do. But before I do that, I'll remind myself of what m my things to do really should be. These are what, like, ultimately, these are the more important things to do. And so, can't remember, I can't forget those. I'll go up so we can see them better. Alright, things to do. Um, what does it say? Make people smile, laugh at myself, celebrate life. Yeah, that's the real things to do. And so that's what I'm going to um, start doing. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to start doing I'm not going to make people smile or, like, I mean, I kind of will celebrate life while I'm cleaning my house. I'll try. And I will... Oh, laugh at myself? Yeah, I'm sure that'll happen tons. Um, <laughs> am I buckled? <laughs> okay. That'll save me a few laughs and maybe a few tears.